and welcome to my YouTube channel and my show DIY with King Tonto. Uh, I'm super happy that you're here today and for today's episode, I'll be teaching you how to make your homemade deodorant. Yes, you heard me right. You see, one of the aims of DIYs is to teach you how to save money and how to make your homemade things that are chemical free that you're protecting yourself and you're also saving money okay so today we're going to be making a deodorant i know some people say why don't you just go into the store and buy a deodorant yeah that's fancy that's nice i do it sometimes or i used to do it a lot sometimes but not not anymore why is because in store but deodorant there is so there are so much chemicals that are unwanted to your body but they put it anyways because that's the best way they can save you and things like towels things like aluminium things like parabens things like alcohol perfumes and all of these toxic products are put in store but deodorant but when you make it at home you have a clean and clear and chemical free deodorant and you just smell so good all day long you know it's bigger so i'll just stop talking and just dive in okay so the three or the four ingredients to make your homemade deodorant are simply arrow roots most of us do not know what arrow roots are i do not know how to explain it but if you go google the uh, google will tell you what arrow roots are where they are made from and their benefits the second one is baking soda yeah <laughs> yes you have your baking soda there too and another one is your coconut oil which is very very essential now the work of the coconut oil in your deodorant is to moisturize your skin and to help you fight against bacteria and the work of the arrow roots in your in your deodorant is just simply for thickening okay just to thicken your deodorant and your baking soda is absolutely for absorbing and neutralizing others like that's how you stop your smelly others by using baking soda so before i get into showing you how it is done you know that i'm all about health is wealth so first things first we will be cleaning as our work surface area with a disinfectant wipe which i already have here i just cleaned i've already cleaned this but i'm just gonna do it so that you guys don't say oh you didn't teach us how to clean <laughs> okay so i'm cleaning my surface area and after that is done put my business bag I have this it's clean cloth I've already done this but I'm just gonna do this again I clean all of this out put them back right here so I do have my containers empty containers I have two filled containers and I have one empty containers to actually put my deodorant in here when I make it so this is a very important item to making your homemade deodorant you need your essential oils that like i told you already and this is my this is my arrow root and this no this is my arrow root and this is my baking soda and this is my coconut oil so i'll just get down to business now i'm just gonna be wearing this because i do not want my dress to get blasted with baking soda or arrow root and after this i'm just gonna go home to my baby so i just don't want to get myself all messed up okay enough of me now okay so i would have i have uh, two full spoons of arrow root so i'm just going to turn it in here everything everything okay and i have baking soda in here i'm going to measure that because it's very important to measure your baking soda and all i need for my baking soda it's probably just two two teaspoons of baking soda in here and um, my coconut oil you can have your coconut oil um, dissolved or you can have your coconut oil um, um, thick it doesn't really matter but it's when it's dissolved it's, it's easier to just mix so why go through all the punishment and do that I'm gonna have four two no three let me put three first and see I'm gonna have three okay I'm gonna put them down here I'm gonna have my wooden spoon gonna keep stirring I'm gonna keep stirring I need more oil 
so I'm gonna have more oil in here. I'm just gonna keep stirring it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty cool thing to do with your family. You see, DIYs bring families and relationships together because you can actually be doing this and have your significant other, your friend, or you know, just anybody, your children, your, your parents, just be there and you know, work it out with you. So this is just a mixture for my arrowroot, my baking soda, and my coconut oil. Now it's time for me to put my essential oil. Now my essential oil can be really anything, but I'm just so drawn to lemon. And I'm going to put in 10 drops of lemon in here. Now the, the essential oils is just to make you feel fresh and like, you know, just have that fresh feel when you put your deodorant on. And I do have tea tree. It's very, very amazing. These two are the, my, my best essential oil ever that I've ever used and I stick to them. I love them the two. So I'm just going to give this a quick quick stir <sighs> oh my jeez this is amazing it smells so good I'm going to be putting more I can smell my tea tree in here I'm going to put in another five drops making say ten drops of that okay you see it do you see the consistency that's it so gonna stir it this is an empty deodorant container prepped cleaned for this purpose so I'm just I'm sorry I'm supposed to be using something better than like to to turn it but hey you can never just find everything you want when you want it okay and sometimes, like the deodorant I use, I, I make for my son. Sometimes I put in um, food coloring just to make it fun. So, yeah. So I'll let this, if you can see that. You see that? So I'll just let it sit and the baking soda will do its job by just making it thick for me. So here is one of the deodorants I made before I got here because I know that I might not be able to wait and sit for this to settle or to thicken. So I made this at home and I put a little food coloring in here. My favorite color happens to be pink. So this is it. It's, it comes out, it just comes out the same way your normal store bought. And you can get these containers from any um, dollar store. Uh, I got mine from Walmart, Walgreens when I, I was pregnant with my son. I got a lot of things and that's how I started my DIY lifestyle. So yeah, so this is my homemade, oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. This has so much. It has um tea tree. It has lavender. I think these are my summer collections because I use lavender a lot when it's summer because the summertime you have insects and lavender is yeah, and is an insect repellent. So this I think was one I made for summer last year. So yeah, so it's simple and easy way you have you have just a healthy deodorant to use. You have chemical-free deodorant, and this is the best. And you have so much fun while doing it. So yes, please try it and let me know how it feels on your skin. And um, well, let me know how it feels on your skin. And also, please, this is not the only containers that you can use. I have seen people use containers like this to store their deodorants, smaller containers like this to store their deodorant and then lock it up. So when they want to use it, they just have to, like you can see now, it's thickening enough, you see? It's thickening enough, right? It's, it's, it's going to be thicker than this when you leave it to settle. So some people just have their deodorant, put it in a, in a thin, in a can like this, and have like a small stick in it, and you just bring it out and take it like this, and you just rub it like that, and they wash your hands after. People do it, so there's no thing wrong in storing your containers, your your um, homemade deodorant in any other kind of container aside this there's no thing wrong with that okay so thank you very much for watching diy weekend tonto i hope that you learned this and you are going to try it. like i said please 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 leave your comments below so i can read and also if you want me to do any specific diy that will suit you or your family member or whatever it is just let me know so i can dabble into it so we could all learn this is a channel where we are learning and i want every woman out there and every man out there to have a knowledge of 
everything at least a little bit and that is why i created diy with king tonto so thank you very much for watching and do not forget to please subscribe to my channel and make your own homemade deodorant thank you